with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We gave you the challenge yesterday. Go out and take pictures of the Aurora, and boy, did you guys deliver. We had some amazing shots out there. I'll just go over a couple of them right now. We got a lot of them. You saw some greens out there, but we're also to see uh, we were also able to see some of the red associated with the Aurora last night. Check this photo out. Yeah, I got that green hue right on the horizon with red uh, pillars up above it. This was near the uh, uh, Air Force Base here. And this is a beautiful shot. You can even see the Aurora kind of reflecting there off the uh, water there on the ground. Just beautiful stuff. Uh, it was gorgeous. And there might be more opportunities down the road here over the next few days. Uh, more on that later. There's a live look at Bowman right now, and uh, I flipped the camera around to show you a bit of a, a sunset or uh, at least some pretty clouds. It doesn't look like it's uh, all that pretty at the moment. Just looks like dark sky currently here in Bowman. Temperature 54 degrees. It's warm and it is quite windy as well. Those winds sustained over 20 miles per hour. Warmer temperatures to the west here. Everybody in the 50s right now across our western counties. Look to the east, though. Temperatures here still in the 40s. So a, a very obvious divide right now between our far eastern counties and the rest of the viewing area. And even more so with the winds. They're strong out of the west right now in places like Sydney, Montana, 22 miles per hour, where we generally have lighter winds currently out of the south across our east. Even wind gusts up to near 30 miles per hour, for example, there in Dickinson within the last hour. So we look at our satellite radar. You certainly can see the clouds moving on in from the west. That was what was shielding our view of the sun there in Bowman. Big storm system still tracking it here across the east coast. You can see it's centered over the Great Lakes with an extension of a cold front and severe weather again across the eastern seaboard. We have our own little system to deal with. You can see it's centered here in Saskatchewan. It's rotating and it is bringing a few of those showers in from eastern Montana. However, the air is still pretty dry across our state. So anything that uh, moves on in, it does look like it will dissipate here overnight. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, Everyone's looking at a lighter westerly wind. There will be a few chances for a little bit of light precipitation early in the morning. And then perhaps by tomorrow afternoon, maybe some more development of a few isolated rain showers. Again, right along the I-94 corridor and south is where they look to form most likely. We'll also see some stronger winds. You can see the yellows kind of here showing up with our wind vectors. It's going to be some stronger northwesterly winds, particularly across our northern counties by later tomorrow afternoon. In the Saturday we go, and that's when high pressure then begins to build on in. That'll give us a little reprieve from the clouds and some sunshine, but then the next system already begins to make its presence presence felt presence pro, by Saturday night on in towards Sunday with chances for rain and snow increasing for your day on Sunday. Lows tonight, temperatures dropping down into the 20s and low 30s. Your highs tomorrow, temperatures going to be warming back up mostly into the upper 40s and 50s. So a day kind of similar to today, although we will have that chance for a little bit of light precipitation. Dickinson temperatures getting up to near 50 degrees for you tomorrow. Nice day on Saturday into the mid 50s, light winds, sunshine, but then the next chance for precipitation does move on in late Saturday into Sunday. Williston temperatures in the 50s over the next few days. Windy tomorrow, but we get sunshine, lighter winds on Saturday. Day, and that chance for rain and snow moving in on Sunday. Let's look at mine. Your temperatures are going to be in the 50s, windy conditions, and then we are dropping into Saturday and Sunday with that chance for rain and snow on Sunday. Bismarck, good chance for, uh, well, we'll call it a chance for showers tomorrow. Better chances coming in Saturday night in, on, on and towards Sunday. Now, it doesn't look like a washout on Sunday, but heads up, there could be a few rain and snow showers certainly in the area through the day. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in tonight's case, Carol.